G'day. In today's video, I'm talking about an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and this particular one, the power button is no longer functioning. And it wasn't quite what I expected. So first of all, I got the replacement power button, which being that the button here looks like it also includes connections to the NFC and maybe the wireless charger, that means there's going to be some form of soldering to do on it, which I'd much rather not if unless we really have to, but it looks like that's what Apple's decided to do in this particular instance. So I've already got the screen out of it. And what I found was, ta-da, over here was the button. I undid the screws on the button, and then the button was already snapped off. So if you have a look at this, we've already got the connector here and the button itself is snapped off here. Great, so that means we will have to replace it. But why did it break in the first place and why did it tear like that? Look at this. We're broken on the power button side. If I push down at the glass, look how much blue is shining through there. Oh, especially over here. No wonder it broke. The amount of movement that it's got. So if that's in someone's pocket and they're twisting, and being how well stuck down this cable is, which right now I, yep, yep that's definitely stuck down. There's no, no movement, no extra tolerances for this cable to stretch or bend. So basically, if you manage to do a similar break to this phone along the side here, I'm going to assume that this issue would be exactly the same on the volume side, if all that glass was missing. So once it loses the structural rigidity of the glass holding it all together, bam, we break. Once I pushed on that, and then we push that circle out by accident. You can see that the glass is the main thing that's holding the structure of this together. So I'm going to proceed along and remove the main board, change this over. Hopefully I can just use my heat gun to be able to get this off. And then it probably does also need a glass replacement. So I'll proceed down that path. And just a little bit of follow-up. We'd have to unsolder here. And here. One, two, three, four. Or four in total. One over here, three over here. But you would also need to replace the glass prior to actually doing that. Good luck. But for now, I will, yeah, just demonstrate how easy it is to tear your power button on an iPhone 14 Pro Max. It could be very similar with all the iPhone 14 series, I would be assuming. So that is a not very good oversight. Anyway, that will do, and I'll see you later. Bye.